we are changing the way of wastewater treatment. This system come and is using mainly the, the intelligence of nature, worms, you know, to produce these bacteria and just with the movement of the worms and just some technical installation inside, we keep the aerobic condition that the bacteria can grow. So uh, we reduce 95 plus percent of the energy of conventional solution. We avoid any chemicals also. Uh, and at the same time, maybe the key component is that instead of filtering wastewater, like conventional technology that you get clean water and a sludge in our site, we are transforming wastewater. So we are transforming wastewater in clean water and in warm casting. So you don't have any waste. We're standing here in front of the Biofiltro M1 Beta system, a biodynamic aerobic treatment system for uh, dairy effluent, other types of effluent also, but in this case specifically dairy effluent. Water that comes out of a dairy that's that's been flushed is a high level uh, of solids, uh, suspended solids in the water. That creates a uh, anaerobic environment or, or basically an anoxic or low oxygen environment. So by running the water into the biofilter unit, we aerate that water and eliminate a lot of the potential downsides of anaerobic water, which would be odor, methane, um, things of that nature that are, that are not usually desirable to have in your effluent. So the way the biofilter unit works, the the water is sprayed with a very simple sprinkler system, just like you might have in a yard. I mean, it's a very simple irrigation system. The water is irrigated on top of the chips. The, chi the water goes down through the chip layer and then down through another kind of a layer of rock, ultimately finding its way down to the bottom where there's some uh, plastic pallet, uh, shipping pallets that hold the whole thing up. So it goes back into another aerobic environment in the bottom of the box. The worms eat some of the suspended solids, but the primary job of the worms is to keep the unit clean. So they're essentially the, the janitors of the filtrate. So their, their, their job is to try to make sure that the medium stays clear. And in the process, they create this biomat or biome of worm biology, which is where all the magic happens on the dissolved uh, constituents of the effluent. Well, we did a test on the worm castings and the castings are high in biology. And that's probably the most important part of that. There's nutrient obviously there. There's nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and all the essential nutrients that are needed for plant growth. But there's a good level of biology. And the reason why biology is important is because when introduced to the soil, it allows for nutrient cycling to occur. And, and there's interactions with the plant roots that also are improved so that you get a plant response. Our, our job is to evaluate whether the system is doing the job it's supposed to be doing. Uh, in other words, we are trying to look at whether it does reduce the nutrients from the water after the treatment. Uh, we're also trying to find out whether it actually does reduce the air emissions. Uh, so far, uh, we, we are finding that the system is doing what it's supposed to be doing. So we have some preliminary data, but uh, we still have long ways to go. So we are more likely to be able to tell the story uh, at the end of our study. I'm excited about the project because anytime we can start working with companies to adapt new technology and try new things, that's what's going to take us into the next uh, generation for our kids and taking care of the land. So if we can do things that's good for the cows and good for the land and good for the environment, I think it's a great thing to do. So one of the problems with dairy effluent is when it sits for any period of time, it starts generating methane. And there's a big concern over this greenhouse gas emission issue surrounding dairies. If we can capture the water right out of the separator and run it into a biofiltro unit, we eliminate the potential for methane production. So this is a new concept. It's preventative 